What's going on, gang? Last minute Q&A video coming your way right now, so let's go ahead and dive in. But before we get going, I wanna let you know that all these questions come in from Instagram. So just yesterday, I put out an Instagram story saying, ask me anything. So that's where all these questions come from. I'm gonna try to get through a bunch of them. Um, some aren't really that appropriate, so uh, uh, I'm gonna get through as much, as many as I can, and I will try not to ramble. If you guys have seen some of my other Q&A videos, I tend to kind of go off on tangents, and I'm gonna try not to do that today. So let's dive right in, and we'll keep this video relatively short. Um, what are you driving now? Uh, I have a 2022 C8 Corvette Stingray. It's a really cool car. I like it. Um, I, some people really don't like the Corvette because they think it signals like midlife crisis or older guy and whatever. I totally understand that because I resisted the Corvette for a long time. But I got to say, bang for the buck. And I've said this before. It's hard to beat. It's hard to beat the Corvette platform. Um, but yeah, that's what I got. Can a classy guy still wear muscle shirts? Sure, in the gym, or if you're exercising or hiking or doing something athletic, sure, absolutely. Why would you choose to wear that shirt out in public or out somewhere, out to dinner, out to lunch, right? Out to whatever you're doing. Why would you choose that shirt? I think that's more my question. Are you trying to signal and show people that you're healthy and you're fit and you're muscular? I mean, that's the question, right? Because there are other ways, more classy ways, to do that and to show how fit you are without wearing a sleeveless shirt, right? I mean, you could wear a more fitted polo, a more fitted uh, Henley, something like that. But muscle shirts in the gym, totally fine. Okay, I guess nothing's off limits. Uh, <laughs> how much do you make with your YouTube channel? I talk about this. I make videos every single year around January, early February, where I release my earnings report from YouTube. So if you're curious, go back and look at some of my January, February videos and you'll find the last couple of years where I have uh, given out that information. Nice watch, share your watch collection. So in, <laughs> in the Instagram story, I don't have it on right now, but I'm wearing my Tudor Black Bay GMT. Um, share my watch collection. Maybe in an upcoming video, we'll see. Your videos are very inspiring for men above 40. Keep them coming and stay blessed. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really, I, I really appreciate that because, I mean, this is quite frankly, a lot of work. It is a full-time job. And I don't know how it looks on like your end. You, you see me sitting here making these, you know, eight to 10 minute videos and that's all you see. But that video took me the entire day to make, right? I've got to write the script. I've got to do the research. I've got to film. I've got to edit. I've got to make the thumbnail. I've got a keyword. I'm not complaining, not at all, uh, but I will, yeah, there is, this just, it's a lot of work, so thank you. Okay, if you could go on vacation anywhere, where would it be and why? Europe, specifically Italy. Uh, I've never been to Europe, I've never been to Italy. I'm half Italian, Sicilian to be exact. So I would love to go spend some time in Europe and Italy. You look great, thank you, I appreciate that. Okay, I had to make a quick trip to the garage for this next one. What cleaning products are you using on the car? Uh, all right, let me just run down a couple things. So I, I recently bought a electric pressure washer and that's been kind of a game changer. It's got the cool foam cannon and everything on it. So I went and got a bunch of this chemical guys, Mr. Pink. I've heard lots of good things about chemical guys. I've got their wheel cleaner. If you can see the wheel cleaner, I've got this. If you're interested, I'll put Amazon links for you. If, if you want to go check some of this stuff out, um, I'll leave those in the description. Meguiar's quick detailer in between washes. I've also got the um, California car duster and a bunch of um, microfiber stuff. And this is what I use on the tires. This, if you can see that, this Mr. Wet, um, Black Magic Tire Wet. It works pretty good. So that's kind of a basic rundown. I've got some you know, window cleaner and some stuff and brushes and things like that. But uh, this is, the, I guess, the majority of the cleaning products. This next one is from my buddy Ryan and he's asking, favorite restaurant in Temecula? I don't know that I have a favorite. Um, I would say Gourmet Italia ranks pretty high. Uh, great Italian food, great atmosphere. On the, on the weekends, they've got this like four to five piece jazz band. Those guys are amazing. So I always like to try to sit on the bar side. I, I saw you there, what, about two months ago, I think. Um, Gambling Cowboy is good for steak. Um, Journey at Pachanga, I've been out there a couple times recently. When my buddy was in town, I took him out there. Pretty, pretty cool. I like that one. 
And speaking of Pechanga, the steakhouse, Great Oak, I think, yeah, it's Great Oak Steakhouse inside Pechanga, inside the casino. Fantastic. Like, that place is, I don't know what it is. It's got to be like a five-star experience. I've had amazing food there. Uh, I haven't been for a little while, but I need to go back because it is fantastic. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, <laughs> gay or straight? I am 100% straight. I do like women. Camilla or Trump? I am not even going to go there. Would you ever wear a bolo tie or Western style clothes? It's just not my thing. If I were to do that, I would feel, I would feel uncomfortable. I would feel awkward. I, I would feel like I, I would be wearing like a costume, right? It just wouldn't feel quite right. Not that I've got anything against Western apparel, not at all. I think for me, it would just feel awkward because it's just not, it's not what I identify with, the style that I identify with. So I would feel a little bit out of place, but uh, yeah. When was the last time you played golf? Oh my God, it has been a minute. It has been a year. I don't know, it's, it's probably been about a year. I haven't touched my clubs. Um, I keep thinking that I want to get fit. I want to go to a fitting center and get fit for some new irons. My driver's great, my three wood's awesome. Putter's still cool, wedges are good. It's just my irons, like three through pitching wedge. I would kinda, I've had my clubs for a long time. They gotta be 15, 20 years old at this point. And uh, I know this new technology. I was waiting for the new Mizuno 245s to come out. The 225s, the 245 is a replacement for the 225. And I'm hearing lots of good things and I'm seeing a bunch of reviews on YouTube and they look amazing. Uh, but I want to go, I want to go get fit for the right set, the right angle, all of the things, lie angle, loft, all the things, but I want to work on my swing before I go get fit. So I need to get my ass up to the range. You may have answered this before. What makes you do what you do? I'm pretty sure that's what you meant. What makes you do what you do? When I started making YouTube videos, it was a hobby, right? And it was just the YouTube videos were a way to send traffic back to my website because that's where everything was. I was, a, I was a blogger. That's all I really did. What I realized when I made the YouTube videos is that people really latched on because at that time, there were no other men making lifestyle content for men specifically over 40. Like I was it. And, uh, and I think that's why I grew as quickly as I did. So it was just, I'm the guy whose hobby sort of accidentally <laughs> turned into a full-time job and I'm super grateful and thankful for that. Um, why have I continued though? I love it. I love it. I feel like in a lot of ways I was put on this planet to help people. Um, yeah. And that's why I do it. That's why I keep doing it. I mean, Am I gonna make everybody happy? No. I'm on here just promoting um, my opinion, as usual, <laughs> my opinion, and you know, just to, just to self-improve, right? That's what this channel is all about, and that's why I keep doing it. Motley Crue or Poison? Man, I don't know, I don't know. Motley Crue goes back a lot, a lot longer. I would, I don't know. I don't know. I like them both. I really like both of those bands. If I had to choose though, I'd probably go Motley Crue. Favorite underwear, lots of options. I know, dude, there, it's endless, the amount of underwear. It's like t-shirt companies. There are so many brands that claim to make the best t-shirt. And there's also a million brands claiming to make the best underwear. I would say for me, so I've got these new um, silk cut underwear. Um, and I did a promo for them. So I'm, I'm, this isn't part of that at all. I'm just saying that what they sent me is really, really good. Uh, I also have some Calvin Klein steel micro trunks. You can get them on Amazon. If I find them, I'll link to those down below too. Uh, I'm a trunk guy. I'm not really a brief guy and I'm not like a boxer guy. I'm not a boxer brief guy. I don't like how far down the boxer briefs go down my thighs. I like trunks. Just what is what's most comfortable for me. So yeah, that's, those are my two favorite brands at the moment. What's your 2024 goal? Um, maybe you missed my videos. So I make goal setting videos uh, every single year at the beginning of the year. So around January, I make those videos. Um, go back and look, you'll probably see them from the last couple of years. It's basically a recap, a revisit of my goals for the following year. 
And like, did I reach those goals that I set for myself last year? Yes or no? If I didn't, uh, let's try to move forward and continue to try to reach those goals for this year. Anyway, uh, I, I do those videos every single year. Some men wear their pants above the ankle. That's not the proper length for a suit, isn't it? Yes and no, it's a style preference, right? Um, do you wear slim fitting suits? Not skinny, I'm, I'm not talking about skinny. Slim fit suits versus like classic cut. Do you want a cuff on your pant leg or no cuff? It's a style choice, right? So I don't, above the ankle seems to me to be a little bit too short for suit pants. I've got some casual trousers that are a little bit, you know, when I wear them uh, with a loafer, my entire ankle is sort of there, right? And I don't necessarily mind that, especially where I live here in Southern California. It's hot during the summer and the summer evenings get pretty, stay pretty warm too. So if, if I'm gonna go out somewhere on a Friday night, Saturday night, you know, somewhere nice to a nice dinner, I'm not gonna wear shorts, right? I wanna wear some, uh, some nicer pants and some of those happen to be cut a little bit shorter. It's, a, it's, a, it's just a style preference. If you left the West Coast and moved East, where would you go? I don't know. Um, I've been to Atlanta a few times. I did, like, I did like Atlanta. I've been to Florida a few times. I haven't been, I've been up to Maine once. I haven't been to New York or anything like that, but it probably somewhere in Florida, I would have to guess just based on my travel experiences, either Atlanta or Florida, because I've been there, I've been to those two places and that's kind of all I know. Got any videos on how you style your hair? Conditioner, blow dry, styling products, etc. Yeah, I have done, I've done a few of those actually. Uh, if you go way back in my videos, um, look for a video called Embrace Your Gray. I talk about, I know it's a couple years old, my hair was a lot poofier and longer back then. It's funny to go back and look at, the, and look at that video, but I do sort of go into detail there with products I use. Uh, I've made some more videos recently, the blow dryer video. Um, but yeah, there are videos out there on my channel. But right now, I used a Lathan Swift uh, blow dryer. I use, uh, what is it, the Layrite Cement Clay for a styling product. And that's kind of it. Um, that's, that's basically it. There are some other little peripheral things that I use every now and then. There's an argon oil that I put in my hair when it's still wet. Uh, shampoo changes all the time. Conditioner changes all the time. But um, I do use also a, a purple shampoo woo, about every two, I'm sorry, two to three times per week to keep the kind of silver, the silver so it doesn't get yellow. Uh, but that's, that's about it. Your go-to scent. Tough one because <sighs> I like to have a daytime and a nighttime. Like I like to have two, but I would say based just, just solely on what I have in my fragrance collection, you ready for this? It's probably not what you expect. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit, if you guys can see that. This is just your go anywhere, do anything. It's crowd pleasing. It's fresh-ish, but also rich as well. So it could, it works it just, it just works for every single thing. Now, is it the most expensive smelling? Is it the most interesting? No, it does smell a bit synthetic, but I've probably received more comments or compliments, I should say, wearing this than anything else I own. I have received compliments. I've got some Tom Ford stuff. I've got a couple of Creed fragrances and those are, as you know, very, very nice. If I had to choose one, I guess this would be it. All right, I had to come back because I do have one more, I thought about it, and I do have one more scent that could be kind of your do anything, go anywhere. And it's kind of a new one for me, it's Zhuzhov Naxos. It's got a little bit, a little hint of a floral note in the same way that like um, Tom Ford Black Orchid has a little bit of florals. It's still a super masculine fragrance, um, so don't, let that put you off. Go smell Tom Ford um, Black Orchid and you'll kind of get similar vibes from this, although this is not as dark as the Tom Ford. But anyway, another go-to, go anywhere, one fragrance for life kind of situation. Oh boy, is marriage still an option for you? 
Anything's an option. Is that something that I want for myself? I don't know. I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. I've been married. I'm divorced. Um, I honestly don't know. I just don't. Uh, that's not an answer that you're probably looking for. I just really don't know. Real teeth? <laughs> Uh, yes and no. Uh, basically, my four front upper teeth are veneers. And I will say, uh, I have developed a lisp. I'm sure you probably heard me talk enough to where you can kind of identify that I, that I slur a little bit on my S's. Uh, and that's why. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, let, me, let me back up. In my early 40s, I had braces, right? Um, I didn't like my teeth. They were all jacked up. I wanted, I wanted a better looking grill. So I got these braces, but they were six month smile is what they were called. So they didn't go all the way back. They went like halfway back, both front, top and bottom. And it was just to correct misalignment. It wasn't bite correction, anything like that. After I got out of braces, uh, I got veneers on my, on my four front upper teeth. One of my one of my teeth in the front, I don't know which one it was, was dead. I got in a bike accident when I was a kid. I had a root canal, the tooth was dead and it was discoloring. So there's nothing you could really do to match that color to my other teeth. So it was, let's get veneers. So we did. Um, the, my, and my canines were like really funny shaped too, really sharp. Anyway, uh, so that, that, the answer is yes and no, but uh, I hope that helps. One more quick word on the teeth thing. It's that since I've had the, the braces and the veneers, that's when I developed this lisp that I seem to have right now. It's frustrating, um, but it is what it is. I don't know really what I could do about it at this point. Um, I think my teeth just got sort of narrowed or something, or my tongue's too big for my mouth. I have no idea, <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, but that's all I've got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, enjoy the rest of your day, weekend, week afternoon, evening, whatever it is for you. Thanks so much for watching. Live well, and I will see you in the next one.